Hi, everybody. I want to share with you one of my favorite stories that is perfect for this time of year. And it's called the Apples Trees Discovery by Panina Shram and Rafavi Eckstein Davis, illustrated by Wendy Lee. And it is a famous story. So let's read it, shall we? In a great oak forest where the trees grew tall and majestic, there was a little apple tree. It was the only apple tree in that forest and it stood alone. Winter came as the snow fell to the forest floor. It covered the branches of the little apple tree. The forest was quiet and peaceful. See the little apple tree? One night, the little apple tree looked up at the sky and saw a wonderful sight. The stars in the sky appeared to be hanging on the branches of the oak trees. Oh God, whispered the little apple tree, how lucky those trees are to have such beautiful stars hanging on their branches. I want more than anything in the world to have stars, then I would feel truly special. God looked down on the apple tree and said gently, have patience, little apple tree. Hard to be patient, isn't it? Time passed, the snow melted and spring came to the land. Tiny white and pink buds appeared on the apple tree. Birds came to rest on its branches. People walked by and admired the beautiful branches, the beautiful blossoms on the tree. All summer long, the apple tree continued to grow, the branches filled with leaves forming a canopy overhead. But night after night, the little tree looked up at the millions upon millions of stars. Oh God, the tree calls. I want one more thing in the world to have stars on my branches and on my leaves like that great big oak trees. God looked down and said, little apple tree, you already have gifts. Your fragrant blossoms fill the air. Your branches offer a resting place for birds and your leaves offer shade for weary travelers. Isn't that enough? The apple tree sighed and answered, Dear God, I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I appreciate the pleasure I give to others. But what I want more than anything in the world is to have stars. Then I would feel truly special. God smiled and said, Be patient, little apple tree. What do you think is going to happen? <gasps> the seasons changed again. It was fall and the little tree was filled with many beautiful apples. Walking in the forest, Pete, People reached up and picked the tasty fruit. What do you think is going to happen? Still, when night fell on the forest, the apple tree looked through the oak trees at the stars and called out, Oh God, I want more than anything in the world to have stars on my branches. Then I would feel truly special. God asked, Isn't it enough that you now have wonderful apples to offer? The apple tree shook its branches sadly. At that moment, God caused a hard wind to blow. The apple tree began to sway even more and suddenly apples fell from the top branch. When they hit the ground, they split open. Can you see what's inside? What's inside? Look, commanded God, what do you see? The little apple looked down and saw that the right in the center of each apple was a star. Stars, I have stars, the apple tree rejoiced. Yes, God laughed. You do have stars and they've been there all along. You just didn't know it. The end. So if you have an apple at home and you cut it, not straight down, but you cut it in half, around the sides, when you open it up, you can see the apple. And remember, it's what's inside that counts. Happy New Year, everybody.